Hey viewers, I'm back. Uh, I'm still not 100%, but I am feeling better. I still have a lot of pain that comes and goes, but I'm getting around. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check my last video where I had a bike crash and I had compression fractures of three vertebrae. But like I said, I am getting around better, so I decided to go to a big community garage sale this morning, which I go to every year, and I bought this bike. It's a Mongoose Pro NX 7.3. Now, do not confuse this mongoose with the new mongooses where they're like walmart type bikes mongoose used to make some high-end bikes like this one now actually this is not the first bike i bought i actually originally bought a gtr ts2 full suspension mountain bike but when i went back to pick it up this bike was there which was not there the first time and i was looking at it and the guy asked me well which bike do you like better and i already paid 40 bucks for the gt and he said this one would be an extra 20 bucks so I started comparing the two bikes. Now the GT was full suspension, this is only front suspension, and they had uh, similar drivetrains. They're both three by eight drivetrain, 24 speed drivetrains. Both had Shimano, or, uh, Shimano Dior XT and LX components on them. Both had been ridden fairly rough. The wheels were way out of true, real rough shape. The, on the GT, the uh, chain rings looked a little bit more worn, the middle ring especially, and had a broken tooth on it. Uh, now the deciding point was that the front fork on the GT, it was a RockShox 21R fork and it barely moved, which probably should overhaul it and fix it and stuff, but I've already done videos on that. This one has a Manito Expert fork on there, which I have not done videos on there, so I could probably take this apart, clean it, lube it, and maybe get a video out of this. I don't know. I have to look at see if I can find instructions for that. So I decided to go with this Mongoose Pro. So let me show you some of the stuff on it. Now, like I said, it has got a Shimano Dior XT a rear derailleur and a Shimano Dior LX front derailleur. It's got Shimano Dior LX trigger shifters here. It's got Araya TM18 uh, double wall rims front and back on there. And then here's a trick to look for dry rot on tires. You know, if you look at it like this, they look okay. But if you squeeze it, you can see all these like little uh, cracks in there. That means that these tires are dry rotted, so they're just toast. Now, interestingly, it has uh, three bottle cage mounts, one, two, three, but it looks like the ones up here, you'd either have it here or here. It doesn't look like you have uh, bottle cages in both locations. Now, like I said, it's got the Manito X-Vert forks on there, which are moving there, so they're not like seized like the, uh, the RockShox uh, 21Rs were pretty near seized. The saddle is a Wilderness Trail Bikes WTB SST. It's a little bit rough shape, but so I may or may not replace this saddle. Well, I spent quite a bit of time going back and forth between the two bikes, the pros and cons, uh, probably a good 15 minutes. The deciding factor was the fork. The 21R fork on the other, on the GT, was pretty much seized, and I could probably fix it, but I've already got videos on that. I don't have any videos for Manito forks at all, so that could be something new, and so that's definitely a deciding factor why I got the Mongoose here. And I did not pay an extra 20 bucks, I actually paid an extra 10 bucks, so total cost of this bike was 50 bucks. Now, I probably could have gotten both bikes, but I really don't need a whole lot more bikes. I already have a ton of bikes to work on, but it was just still a really good deal, so I got this bike. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, subscribe and click the bell. I do a lot of repair videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there. Check that page out. I post a lot more stuff over there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching.